Coming up on this edition of Coach's Corner, we highlight the Mission Diego Diablos boys varsity basketball team. Coach Troy Rowland, in his 16th year, has the Diablos off and running with an undefeated non-league start. The Diablos like to run, and they are the three-time defending South Coast League champions with their eye on a CIF championship. I'm Paul Higgins, this is Coach's Corner, and all the action starts right now. Hello everybody, I'm Paul Higgins and welcome to this week's edition of Coach's Corner. Once again, back at the Shops of Mission Viejo. A great on-site for this show right here in the community of Mission Viejo. And tonight it's all about the city of Mission Viejo with the Mission Viejo Diablos. They are off to a great start on the basketball court. The boys basketball team 11-0 and they are back to back to back South Coast League champions. So uh, congratulations already on their early success. Joining me tonight will be three players and also their head coach. He has been there 10 years as the head coach, 16 years with Mission Viejo High School. He teaches AP English, and he was patient enough to hang around tonight to do the show with me, Coach Roland. Coach Roland, thanks a lot for joining me. I know I gave you very short notice, but uh, good timing because uh, a little bit of a break here from the game schedule. But Coach, 11-0, joined by Max Redfield. We'll talk to Max in just a second. But uh, how and why the quick start? Uh, you know, these kids have been with me since they were sophomores, and uh, there's been a long maturation process. We've been fortunate enough to go to two CIF title games yeah. the last two years, and I have a really seasoned group, um, a really close-knit group who, who plays well, who doesn't need a whole lot of instruction from me. They've heard it all. Yeah. I imagine my voice has become pretty sterile, <laughs> and they're, uh, they're pretty self-motivated right now to get back to, to a place that we think we belong. Well, obviously you've done some great things. You're a great coach. You, you already told me before the show the great mentors that you have. And also it takes some great young men. And one of them is Max Redfield. He's a three-sport uh, star, the defensive player of the year in football, and uh, has an opportunity to go to Ohio State, USC, or Notre Dame. He'll make that choice. But joining us is Max Redfield. Max, do you? I know you probably do, but do you have your basketball legs yet? Oh, somewhat. I mean, <laughs> we do so much running and, and press and stuff, it, it takes a little while to get back into it. Yeah. Now, you're, you're coming off a football season, and, and I know that that was an exciting season for you. Of course, you wanted to go a couple steps further, yeah. and uh, but that didn't happen. But you've got some exciting uh, days ahead of you. But first and foremost, you've got basketball season. What is it about basketball that, that kind of motivates you to play? Because you really don't have to play this sport if you didn't want to. Well, the way that we play and the way that we're coached is so exciting. And, and the way that we get after teams is really great. And we have, we have a bunch of guys who have a lot of talent on our team, and, and we really get after teams. And I really enjoy playing basketball for this club. Coach, well-spoken young man. And obviously, I know you've got to play in his life. You've been with him for four years on the basketball court. What makes him a special athlete? Uh, Max is unique. He's, I mean, he's a multi-sport athlete, and he's mature beyond his years. Very, very good head on his shoulders. Um, knows what he wants, not only out of sports, but out of life. And he makes, he makes very good decisions and has those innate leadership uh, qualities that, that really makes him unique. And, you know, having been around guys who are, are, you know, in the league with Mark Sanchez and Jed, there's something special about Max that, you know, if he does the right things, he, he has an opportunity that lies ahead of him. Yeah, now, Coach says you're a great decision maker. We don't want you to make a decision right now, but uh, the three schools, any front runners that you might go play football to next year? The two main schools I'm looking at is Notre Dame and USC, and um, they both have great programs, great academics, and, and a great coaching staff that I've, got, I've grown really close to, so it's going to be a really tough decision. You and I were just talking with Coach, and you had an opportunity to go back to the Stanford game and Notre Dame, and Stanford, of course, uh, lost that game, but Notre Dame rushed the field, the student section. What was that feeling like as a spectator? Because you know what that feeling is like when you're playing at Mission Bay High School and you got the helmet on. But on the other side of that, what was like that? What it was, was like incredible. That? Um, the atmosphere of the game was incredible. Even in the rain, the fans were there through and through the whole whole time through overtime, just just keep keeping the energy high. And and once they got the win, it was it was incredible to see the whole student section rush the field. It was it was a great experience. Coach, when you look at the sport of basketball, I, I, I had Mark Prisbalak on from the Pro Kids Baseball Academy, and we talked about baseball being a sport that's really played 365 days a year now. What about basketball? Do you find yourself focusing on basketball every day of the year, or how does that play out now in coaching? It's changed so much. Yeah, basketball's changed in the sense that it is year-round, but I think basketball, for kids, it's, it's lifelong learning. You're gonna, you know, there's some collaborative learning and working together and things that you can take from the court 
and apply them to office jobs or any job that you have in the future and working together. And uh, my kids, they do a good job problem solving, which is kind of a lost art nowadays. Um, you know, working things out for themselves, and uh, it's important. Max, 11 and 0, and I know really that means nothing, right? So you're 11 and 0, the season hasn't started yet, so to speak, when you go into league play, and then you've got playoffs and then CI championships, state championships. But 11 and 0, coach talked about the start. Can you tell us about the start and how you got to where you're at? Um, well, our team's been really close, and we've been playing since the summer together, and, and we, we, really, we really gotten after teams and, and come together well uh, during basketball season. And, um, we're playing great right now, and we need to keep it up to be successful during the season. Now, Coach teaches uh, AP English, which is a pretty hard course, and I know that he, he probably doesn't get too many A's in that class, you know, but, but uh, what is your uh, subject of study that you like? Um, I, I enjoyed chemistry a lot last year, and um, probably this year I really like marine biology. It's really interesting. Yeah, and, and Max, um, I know that there's a lot of young Diablos that when you're out there on the football field or on the basketball court or running track, those little guys are looking up to you. Who did you look up to and who, dil who still do you look up to, whether it be on the playing field or in everyday life? Um, well, one is Mark Sanchez. Um, he's obviously an icon for Mission Viejo High School. Um, his work ethic was incredible, obviously, he's in the NFL. And um, he's just a great all-around person. Uh, he knows how to handle himself well in the media and say all the right things. And um, he's, he's just a great guy all around. And I, yeah. I try to somewhat embody how he went through high school and try to get to the level that he's at right now. You know, I had Mark on this show when he was a junior and a senior, and uh, he was a well-spoken young man, still is a well-spoken young man. That's not a bad guy to have as, as uh, somebody you look up to. Uh, Coach, you talked about, you know, you, you had some, some obvious um, relations with Coach Popovich, and uh, might be still an opportunity down the road. We won't say, you know, we won't hang our hat on that. But uh, how important is it for you to know um, a guy like that and how he can tell you some things on the phone that might help out these young guys? Yeah, I've, I've been fortunate enough you know, to play, coach, play with Coach McKnight at uh, Modern Day and work with Jerry DeBusk at Santa Margarita and be recruited by Coach Popovich to go to college. And the one thing, preparedness, is just stressing preparedness and a, and a work ethic and, and coming in and just make sure your team is as well prepared as possible. Uh, and the X's and O's will take care of themselves. Wins and losses take care of themselves. The NBA, those, those players roll over to different teams, but the success he's been able to maintain is pretty incredible. Yep, and you've got a successful young man here, Max. I want to wish you the best of luck. Thanks for taking time out and being on the show, and, and I know you're going to have some great things ahead of you. Thank you. All right, it. thanks a lot. We'll be back with more of Coach's Corner. We're talking Mission Viejo Diablo basketball right here on MVTV at the shops of Mission Viejo. Come and check us out on location. More right after this.